Hello, folks. Okay. Well, um, so I did a video, there's a trailer video, on the Venom trailer yesterday. And in there, I said one of the lines came across as a bit cheesy. Just said it in passing, didn't think much of it. A lot of people took it very seriously. And one of the lines I thought was cheesy is taken directly from the comic book. And even until now, I've been operating on the assumption that if you translate something from, let's say, a comic book to the big screen, that's great, but it has to translate well to the screen. It's not everything that's written, not everything that's in a comic book translates well to a movie. But I've been informed in the comment section of my last video, no! One could argue that if it's translated from the source material at all, on the basis that it's translated from the source material, that it's pulled from the comic book, it is automatically good, which changes everything I thought I knew about what is good and what is not in an adaptation. And I'd like to issue a few apologies here, one in particular. First of all, we're gonna start out with Venom. I'm sorry about what I said about your cheesy lines in the movie. I thought that the line that's from the 90s that might come across as cheesy in a movie, maybe you should omit it for the movie or maybe change it subtly, but apparently not. Apparently, on the basis that it's pulled from the comic book, that is what makes it good. And I didn't know you said that in the comic book. I just don't have your comic books memorized. So for that, I apologize. But my next apology has to be for the Van Damme Street Fighter. I mean, I always thought the dialogue in that movie was completely cheesy and some of it's pulled directly from the game. Are you men enough to fight with me? Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. That's good because it's pulled from the source material. I feel like I have more apologies to make. Not gonna get to them all, but I feel like this is a good start. So here we go. I apologize first to Batman for giving him shit for killing people in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Batman in the comic books, in fact, has killed people, so Batman killing people in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice is simply accurate to the source material. Ergo, it is good. I apologize next to Jim Carrey's Riddler in Batman Forever. Your zany physical comedy is an accurate representation of your character and the source material. I also want to apologize to Jim Carrey Riddler about the costume, rather my comments about his costume. I always saw the Jim Carrey Riddler spandex tights costume as cheesy, but it is pulled from source material, so sorry for all the times I called it corny. I now apologize to Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice for the fact that a lot of people, a lot of us, say Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, though v is supposed to represent the term versus, as seen in the show American Crime Story, the people versus O.J. Simpson, where versus is represented by the same V that Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice has. The people versus O.J. Simpson. I'm sorry, we just don't take the time to say versus when we probably should. I apologize to the entire Twilight Saga. Your angsty teen bullshit drama is simply representative of your source material. In that, you did a fine job. I also apologize to the Fifty Shades trilogy. Your horrendous dialogue could only represent those abominations of literature. I also apologize to the human race for calling the Fifty Shades books literature, like just now. I would also like to offer a big, sincere apology to Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, for me ever saying as a negative, you look like the TV show, when in reality, you looking like the TV show is simply you showing your source material. I'm sorry to Doomsday in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice for saying as a negative you were just thrown into the last act simply to create a fight and make a fight happen when Doomsday essentially came into the comic books to make a fight happen with Superman. So right there, though his creation in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice may have been different, his point in simply being there for a fight was accurate to the source material. I'm so sorry to Wolverine for all the shit I've given you about the Bone Claws. I've never liked the Bone Claws, but Bone Claws are simply accurate representation of the source material post-1993. I sincerely apologize to Star Wars. Star Wars has indeed, and in fact, always been created for kids. The fact that kids were a little more hardcore and maybe cerebral in the 70s and 80s, that is no fault of yours. I am so sorry for ripping on Batman and Robin by saying it looks like a fucking toy commercial. Batman and Robin, you were made to sell toys. You look like a toy commercial. Ergo, you succeeded in what you set out to do. So props. You know, I just have more love to give the Van Damme Street Fighter. I've caused so much pain. I apologize, Van Damme Street Fighter, for thinking that everyone snapping into their wind pose at the end of the movie was cheesy. The heroes won, thus them snapping into their wind pose from the game is simply accurate representation of the game, the source material. Thus it is good. I'm sorry also to Mortal Kombat for thinking it absurd and cheesy at the prospect of Johnny Cage having an unfolded, uncreased headshot in his pocket that he then laid down with an autograph on it after he beats Scorpion. When he does do that in the game, so it's an accurate representation 
of the source material. Shame on you, Jurassic Park movie. You're really nothing like your source material. If accurate representation of the source material innately is good, is inaccurate representation innately bad? Internet, tell me I don't know what to think without you. I'm also sorry to Mortal Kombat Annihilation for saying Johnny Cage went out like a punk at the beginning of the movie where in old lore, Johnny Cage did get killed in Shao Kahn's invasion, so, it is accurate to the source material. Kind of sidestepping movies for a second, but I have to give a heartfelt, sincere apology to Twitter. I am sorry, Twitter, for saying that you are a social dumpster fire when you're simply accurately representing your source material, which is Satan's fucking asshole. For these next couple, I'm gonna speak on behalf of a lot of fans. Maybe I didn't have as much of a problem with this, but maybe a lot of people did. So on behalf of you who had a problem with these next couple, I will speak for you because you'll want in on this. Trust me, you will. On behalf of fans, I'm sorry to the DCEU and DC movies and other DC universes they're creating parallel to the DCEU that aren't really tied to the DCEU. So I may find it confusing, but creating other universes that aren't tied to other universes, that's just how comic book universes work. Thus, these cinematic universes being created are accurate representations of the source material, comic book universes. And on behalf of many fans everywhere, I am sorry, Harley Quinn, that you got so much shit for going back to the Joker, your abusive boyfriend, but it is representative of your character and your source material. Ooh, there was a few of them. I mean, a few apologies I had to make, but I had to do it. You know why? Because I just, my eyes have been opened. If something comes across as cheesy in a movie, look into it. If it comes directly from source material, it, it just can't be cheesy now. Because yes, as you've seen and assessed by now, if we're giving Venom a pass, if we give one thing a pass, you have to give everything else a pass too. It's only fair. All right, so for you, I mean, you're out there. We've all given things shit, things that are, are derived from source material. What do you have to apologize for? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.